When I went to college, when I joined Nizer in the first year itself, I used to think that uh, what are internships? I have already won the whole world and internships are something that I should reserve for second or third years. But when I saw my seniors from third or fourth year struggling to get good projects or internships, just because they haven't done anything significant to get some sort of a research exposure in their first or second years, I realized that this is something I should also get my hands on. The biggest misconception about first year itself is that since you have virtually no resume or a CV, you don't have to do anything related to internships or to gain any research exposure either as well. You should not fall for this, my friend, because I fell for this. I lost my grades and I was about to jeopardize my second year as well because virtually I did not have any internships by the end of my first year in a hurry or so by contacting professors by taking guidance from seniors who were very successful i somehow managed to get internships but i'm telling you this right now before you start your college or just you start your college so that you don't have to face those struggles or those last minute problems right and the first year internships the projects the exposure by talking to professors networking with people researchers phds is the thing that is going to set the tone for the rest of your three to four to five years of your college. So it's utterly important that you pay attention and not just uh, become complacent or uh, fully satisfied with yourself that you have already won the world. You don't have to do anything else uh, since you are at the place that you are. It can be IC Bangalore, Iser, Iser, any other place, right? And if you're at a tier two college such as DU, BHU, or any other place, then you need it most even more than the people who are at Isers or Nizers because one of the students that I was talking to last year or last two last from Delhi University she was a very bright child doing some honors from DU and she told me after getting in touches with our guidance in one of the Isers uh, and even IC Bangalore after that she told me that bhaiya literally I felt this that the best way to get exposure at a top research university without actually studying there is by spending your summers there. And that is possible via internships, research internships, academic internship, any way possible. And that is what most of the first year students across India miss out. Let me tell you, since your first year actually sets the tone for the rest of your college life, be it academics, non-academics, extracurriculars, anything, and since you'll be heading for positions such as research, academic, non-academic, jobs, startups, it becomes very important. So it's like a domino effect. Uh, your first year decides your second year, your second decides your third, and so on and so forth. So at some point in time, you have to take the jump. And when is the ground most fertile? In the first year itself, because everyone is on the same page. Okay, everyone is uh, is a fresher, they don't have any experiences, unless of course someone is extraordinary. Um, they have equal opportunities, equal chances to build their resume, to, they're pursuing same courses. There's a scoring, different grades although, but they can apply to all of the internships in their college and outside different programs such as NIUS, SRFP, IC Bangalore, various IITs, ISERs. 90% of the people don't know about this. That is why you have so less competition in NIUS, which is conducted by TIFR. If you know what NIUS already is, then uh, comment down below. And who is eligible for that? If you're going to pursue NIUS, you're trying for that, definitely let us know. We'll help you in that as well. So that is the thing that most of the people miss out on this opportunity that they could have taken and boost their resume research careers. Then what if I told you, I virtually did not have any guidance. I had to take help from seniors, beg them last moment to verify my resume, to review my emails. Yes, it is possible to get top internships just by cold emailing professors at top places. I, I'm sure you might not have uh, known this too, right? Which is very natural and that's why we are here to guide you and help you. So I had to do this. I had to do all that sing and dance in front of people to help me out. And somehow I managed to do that, but you don't have to do that, right? So what if I tell you that uh, from all our experiences of more than five, six years, we are able to gather, accumulate, craft resources, crisp resources, 
to exactly help you do that, right? What if I told you that it is possible to take systematic and organized help from someone who is already doing their research at places like Harvard, Max Planck, Oxford, so on, so forth, and they can help you to um, realize how to make CV or resume, how you can build your profile from, from the first year itself, how you can write emails, effective emails that actually work, that grab professors' attention. Why am I saying this? Because you're not the alone. You're not the single person to mail any professor across India or the world. Any professor receives hundreds of emails every single day, even just before summer because internship times uh, are nearby and they receive hundreds if not thousands of requests. So your email, how you can make it stand out and grab professor's attention so that he or she can actually analyze your profile and uh, maybe reply or offer you some project, right? So you can get your CV reviewed. You can learn how to write cold emails. You can learn how to write your SOP, statement of purpose or cover letter or motivational letter. It is very important, one of the key factors in deciding whether or not you're going to get that particular project or internship. If there are in interviews involved, then how to appear for interviews, how to keep your calm, how to present yourself, right? Uh, in interviews, how to showcase your motivation, what are your intentions to be in that project, apart from, of course, building your resume and CV and some recognition and showing off to people or friends that, hey, I got an internship in IIC Bangalore or IIC Pune, so stuff like that. Other than that, what is your research motivation, right? How you want to create an impact via research. So that all is very important to learn and know, especially if uh, people from top research institutes pursuing their research position already went through that journey that you're going through right now, help you out. And that exactly is possible how we are planning something like that, where you can get your CV draft, you can learn how to write cover letters, you can uh, get your CV verified and do all this via live classes, assignments, interviews, mock interviews, and of course, you can learn how you can secure multiple paid internship opportunities via resources. And who will be guiding you? Mentors from top institutes such as Max Planck, Harvard, University of Sheffield, and many more from different subjects, PCMB, interdisciplinary as well. So what is this resource or system called? What are we exactly going to do? Is this. So this is called internship workshop that will be conducted by Sai Astra. And in the past as well, we have helped and hundreds of students directly via all these resources. And many of them have secured top research internships at top places across the world. So definitely the proof of concept is there and you are going to learn from the best. So there will be interviews at many of the places such as IITs, IZERTs, ISRO, DRDO and other world-class institutes. So you will have to uh, ace the selection process as well. It's very important to get good guidance and mentorship. And if you want more help or guidance um, related to all this, what are the internships available? How much can you earn? What are the stipends, application process deadlines? So we have made Sai Astra College exactly for you for this purpose. For example, as you can see, internships that pay you 60,000 rupees, top research internships in India. This video has been made. Um, Paytm received 60,000. The whole list is covered here. Uh, similarly, one to one, three to four lakh rupees as Indian students interning abroad. So that list is also here. You can leverage, watch all these videos and things must have in hostel. So, so many content is there. Uh, emails, SOP writing, motivation cover letter. So lots of things are there. So definitely let me know in the comment if you are willing to pursue internship after your first year. And if you're interested in this workshop, then fill the Google form available in the description box. The link is there. Fill it and uh, you will receive more updates and information related to that. So definitely, I hope if this video has been useful so far, put a like and subscribe to Sai Astra uh, College uh, so that you can start your uh, college life. And I think uh, enough information in this video. See you in the next video, everyone. Bye-bye.